Welcome again. Let's start with our first domain, which is information system auditing process. Before starting with any domain in ISACA or in similar certifications, you need to first understand what is the learning objective. What does they need by teaching you this domain? So in ISACA certifications, the learning objectives are described in what is called task statement. For the task statement of the domain one, you, we will find that the first statement is how to plan for an audit and determine if the information system is protected and controlled. The second statement or the second reason to st for studying this domain is how to conduct an audit in accordance to ISACA standards or risk-based ITIS audit as we will see. The third statement is how to communicate the audit progress, what is the audit report, who are the stakeholders and so on. And the most important task statement is how to conducting a follow-up or what is the reason for doing a follow-up. The audit is not an ending pro process by auditing and provide the report. You need to ensure that your report is taken into the consider and findings and the potential areas of improvement that you discussed or that you found are uh, taken in the consideration. So this is the importance of follow-up. You need also uh, in this domain to understand how to evaluate IT management and monitoring of controls. The next statement or the next learning objective is how to use data analytics tool or what is the importance of data analytics tool and how it can support you in doing the audit and what is the responsibility of the auditors, how, to, how you can an auditor to provide a consulting service to uh, your uh, client or to your ODT without violating uh, the conflict of interest or uh, violating the code of ethics that we will discuss. Also, we will discuss what is uh, the possible way to identify opportunities for process improvement for organization IT policies. So this is the task statements for the domain one. It is not very important to understand it. However, this is like a guiding way to let you know what we are going to encounter during studying this domain. So, see you in the next video.